guys, during this incredible windstorm, I thought I would do a little air magic and usher in this beautiful new moon in Aquarius that we are going to be having on February 11th, 2021. So we are going to do a little Aquarius magic today with our new moon. So I've chosen some tools here. I've got the cosmic reading cards and the blue messiah. And I've got some artwork here. I'm going to bring in all the love of the cosmos. And we're just going to write some things that we want to release today. So I'm going to give you a little look-see of my little area where we're going to be doing this today. Okay guys, we're going to sit down and we're going to write down everything that would get in the way of Aquarius thinking. Anything that would block our new moon's energy. So we're going to fold these papers away from us because this is energy we don't want, right? We're just going to pull a couple cards here. So this is from the Cosmic Reading Cards. Okay guys, let's go ahead and shuffle. Okay guys, this is what we need in order to usher in the most positive cosmic energy. Faith is a growing seed that moves toward the light despite being in the midst of darkness. At each stage of the soul's evolutionary ladder into expanded consciousness, a leap of faith is needed. Taking that leap of faith within you by choosing to jump without reassurance of a safety net. It is choosing to move forward regardless of whether there is absolute certainty that things will work out the way you wish. Taking that leap into the unknown requires great courage. It is about trusting spirit despite not knowing what lies before you. 
this card encourages you to let go and to allow the universe to take care of you. Release any doubts or fear that you may hold and have faith in yourself. Have faith in your choices, which are guided by the wisdom of your heart. Your affirmation for that card is, I have faith. The wisdom of my heart continues to light my way. Shadow self. Unless you learn to face your own shadows, you will continue to see them in others because the world outside you is only a reflection of the world inside you. You may be wondering why you've been facing so many triggers and challenges of late. Things have been going well despite a few road bumps along the way. But the challenges that have been appearing all around you recently seem so overwhelming and disorienting. Just when you thought you had everything under control, it seems as though the world has suddenly shifted. Rest assured, dear one, this is a time of cleansing and clearing all that was avoided and hidden inside you. Healing of the worlds within is taking place and raw emotion is resurfacing. You are exploring and uncovering the darkest shadows of yourself. This is why you are being faced with an insurmountable challenges and triggers. You see, it is only from being pressured that the darker side of you surfaces. This is an important and necessary time for you. As hidden parts of you surface, be gentle, send love and compassion to the wounded parts of yourself. If there is rage, send love. If there is hurt, send love. May love reign on all aspects of you, whether they be in the dark or the light. The affirmation is, I am healed as I acknowledge all aspects of myself. Okay guys, we are going to light a fire and we're gonna light this with intent. So we want the fire and the energy to energize great ideas, new belief systems, new approaches, unique ideas, new pathways. And we're gonna light that and give that energy. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna toss all of our restrictions into the fire and let them go up into the smoke and into the air and to release all of that from our energetic bodies, okay? some nice music on for you guys so that you guys can enjoy this process a little bit. that you are giving fire and energy and light to all of the things you guys want for 2021. This is going to usher in new creative ideas. Look at the fire and the flames. Just play. Play with new ideas. Play with your boundaries. Play with your comfort zones. Isn't it gorgeous, guys? All right. Let's burn up some of this restriction. So the first one we're gonna burn up is resistance. Fold it away from you, throw it in this fire. See the smoke back there? It's going into the air and releasing you. That's the next one is closed-minded people. Only give your eyes to people who are receptive. Right. 
release us from our egos and release others from their egos so they can be receptive. Okay, guys. Conventional thinking. We want unconventional thinking for those brand new ideas. Ooh. Boy, that was resistant, was it? <laughs> well, we're doing this one. It's a little resistant for that. Obsessive behaviors because of this Taurus energy. Those poor coping methods, those things that stand in our ways. We have comfort zones. Release us from our comfort zones. We don't want to maintain our comfort zones anymore. We want to go outside of our comfort zones. Okay, guys. Whoops. We have possessiveness because of the Taurus energy. Don't get hung up on old ideas and want to possess things that no longer serve us, okay? Finally, release us from our fears, okay? No more fear. Fear is holding us back. Give light and energy to what is coming your way, guys. We're gonna plant some new ideas today. We're gonna to be receptive and open. The warmth and the energy from this fire is amazing. I'm just gonna let you enjoy it for a minute. There's a roar coming from the fire and it's exciting. safe because it's really powerful fire here we give this fire some air and this air is our enthusiasm our openness our ability to be receptive mentally so we're gonna give this air let that fire burn bright with new ideas look at that guys look what the power of air can do for us our mind our receptivity look at that so gorgeous look at that you from conventional, close-minded thinking. Ok 
Okay, guys, it's time to be open and receptive to new frequencies. We want to open up our minds. We want to invite fresh new ideas, unique thinking, new directions, and new pathways. So I've wrote down some things I want to invite in, and then we're going to plant them, and hopefully they will grow into something that will be in our environment. So the first thing I wanted to invite in was, I want to think unconventional. I don't want to think the same way I've always thought. I want to be accepting of differences. I want new, fresh ideas. I want to be 100% receptive no matter how far out or far-fetched the idea is. I want lots of love, lots of hope. I want to attract new resources. Uh, things that I can use for all of this fresh new energy. And I want to be inventive. I want to reinvent. I want to restructure. I want to rebuild, more importantly, everything that was torn down on fresh new firm foundation. So let's go ahead and start our little ritual here. Okay guys, we're gonna fold these toward us. We want to invite this energy into our nice, fresh, clear energy. Fold it to you. So I'm just gonna plant all these ideas, guys. This is my final one. Hopefully this video can help you bring some magic and love into your life. Hopefully you can think of brand new innovative ways to get you out of your circumstances. I wish you just lots of love and light. Much love to all of you. And just go out there and be the powerful and beautiful change you guys want to see in the universe.